Hi, I'm Chef Don McMillan, and as I said, we're going to make the best cauliflower pizza crust and pizza that you've ever seen. You're going to love it. So hey, remember when you support us on Patreon, we're going to give you exclusive content. We're going to give you early access to all of our videos and of course, the most important behind the scenes. You're going to love to see those and we're going to do it without air. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Look what I got. A whole head of cauliflower. Probably don't need the whole thing. I'll use half, but we are going to need about two cups of cauliflower, and we're going to use our food processor. Okay, that to me is the easiest way. If you don't have a food processor, you can use one of those box graters, and then just grate it on the box, but we happen to have one. So, let's go ahead, and here's our cauliflower. Cut right through the center, just like this. And we have to... Move, remove the uh, center part because we don't want that that's too rough and we'll just cut those out like that who would have thought you could make a pizza crust with cauliflower I tell you it's amazing right all right cut these up into smaller florets I am going to cut out a little bit more of the center parts in there. And we're going to put it into our food processor and we're going to pulse it until we get the right size. Okay, a few more. Because we needed two, two cups for this recipe. All right, there's our cauliflower florets. And now we're going to chop them up. And I'm going to do it with the pulse button. Just pulse, 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 okay? Let's take a look at them, see how they look. That's pretty neat. Yep, they're ready. <laughs> this didn't take long. So I need two cups, so I have my measuring cup and I'm going to measure it over the bowl. This way if I you know, spill a little bit, it'll be right where I want it to go. Well, look at that. This is our cauliflower and let's go ahead and put that right in the bowl. Two cups. Oh, hey, there's some more in there. Get in there. Join the party. Okay. Two cups of mozzarella. And I have the shredded mozzarella. You can use the grated mozzarella. You want to definitely use the uh, mozzarella that we use in, in the cheese. It's the, the low um, fat content. Two eggs. One, two. I bracket, break them on a flat surface. This way the eggshells will only break in half and you don't have all those little shards. Let's go ahead and beat up our eggs. Incorporate the whites and the yolks. Pour that right into our bowl. And mix all of this together. See how hard that is, right? Look. Mm. Really. This is a surprise dough. So get it all mixed up. The egg is going to hold this dough together. The cheese is going to hold it together. And it's all going to taste so good. I have my oven preheated on 450 degrees. Very hot oven. Okay, this is just about ready. Turn this over. I'm just looking to be sure everything is combined. So, let me show you another little trick. You've got parchment paper and you want it to go in a round pan, but your parchment paper is not round, right? So what you want to do, and watch this, you fold it together like that, right? And right at this point, 
We're gonna fold it again, together again, just like that. And then one more time, we'll fold it again. You go to the middle of your pan, right there. You crease it, like that. And right where that crease is, you just go ahead and make your cut. And then open it up and look how easy that was. This is a trick that I use when I need parchment paper for the bottom of my cake pans and I and I have many different size cake pans. It's really an easier way to work, right? Okay, now we're going to place our cauliflower pizza pie dough right there in the center. And we're going to work it towards the end and we'll make it as even as we possibly can. Let me get this bowl out of the picture. And here, just push down right there. So you'll see it's very thick in the center and you'll just push it out to the edges of your pizza pan. If you don't have a pizza pan this size, you can actually do it on a sheet pan just shape it into a round shape and you'll have to use your hands to form the edge of the crust. Okay, add it down. We didn't put any other seasonings in this crust, okay? We know that the mozzarella cheese has an amount of salt in it, so I think that was more than sufficient. Plus, we are going to season our pizza pie after the dough is baked off. Keep that in mind. But then we're gonna be creative. As I said earlier, this is a great keto recipe. Also a good way to get kids to eat the vegetables, right? <laughs> I gotta get that. And who does not like pizza? Okay, so I'm just feeling it now, just looking to be sure I've got a round crust and it fit in every little piece in there because when it bakes, it's going to hold its shape. Okay, 450 degree preheated oven. Very important. Okay, the oven has to be hot before you put your cauliflower pizza dough into it. All right, in the oven it goes. All right, we took our dough out of the oven. Oh my goodness, look at it. I'm going to just give it a little peek under the crust. Look, 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 look. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous crust. We're gonna make this even better. This is my homemade tomato sauce. I actually call it a mother sauce because you can make it to any other kind of sauce you want, but it is great on pizzas and we're just gonna go ahead and spread the love. Yeah, let's get it on there. We'll spread it out. Oh man. Can you believe it? We're making a pizza crust with cauliflower. The parchment paper, I must point out, is very important. So don't leave it out, otherwise this, oops, this crust will stick to the bottom. You'll have a mess, it'll come up in pieces. You don't want that to happen. Make life easier, okay? There's our sauce. I like to put some cheese down. And I'm using a grated selection of pizza cheeses, Romano and Parmesan and Asiago, mm, good stuff. I'm gonna do vegetables on this pizza. You can put your favorite vegetables on there, whatever you like, and of course, your favorite meats too, okay? This is your custom design. So, there's the peppers, and the onions, I'm using the colorful peppers because we always eat with our eyes. So you want to definitely keep those on there. So when people see it, they say, oh, that's my piece right there. I'm using jalapeno peppers. If you don't like all the heat, leave some of the, they take the seeds out of the jalapeno peppers. Or if you like the heat, you're going to leave them in there. Okay. Get some all around. And I got to have some more cheese, more cheese. Let's go ahead and finish this baby off. 
I got cheese on the bottom, cheese in the dough, cheese on top. Way to go. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is our cheesy pizza. All right. I left my oven temperature on at 450. It stayed on at 450. We're going to put this back in there and we want to leave it in there long enough so that the cheese melts, okay? Um, all ovens are not created equal, so just keep an eye on it. Well, here it is. Can you believe it? Cauliflower crust pizza, lots of wonderful, delicious vegetables, and my homemade tomato sauce. I'm going to put the link below because you're going to want to love this recipe too. It is so good. So, please, as always, we're going to ask you to subscribe. You got to tap that bell, make it ring, make our hearts sing. Okay. Put some comments below. Let me know what you think about cauliflower pizza, some of your experiences, and we can share that. And please remember to support us on Patreon because we're going to give you exclusive content, early access to all of our videos on Patreon, behind the scenes, and of course, without ads. You're going to love it. Now it's time to dig in. Okay, so let me go ahead and use my pizza cutter, cut a nice little slice or two. Mm. All right, I'm gonna get me some of this. Look at that, look at that dough, nice brown on the bottom. Mm. Oh man, this is good. Oh, really good. All right, Andrew's here joining me because he just couldn't stand it. Yeah, I want to try the pizza. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh man. Wow. So. That's good. We did. Is that your homemade pizza sauce? That is my pizza sauce, and you got to get it. Good, that's pretty good pizza sauce. You got to get it on YouTube because we got we got it to share. Not only have we had the pizza sauce to share, we got something else to share. Andrew's going to tell you about it. Check this out. If you like these aprons we're wearing, we're going to give one to you absolutely for free, and this is what you got to do to do it. You got to subscribe, comment that you subscribe. For every 50 subscribers, we're going to pick one person and send this to you absolutely for free. No matter where you live in the world, you're going to get one of these from us. I'm yeah, pizza. yeah. You know, with our pizzas and our recipes, they're always simple and Delicious. Delicious with a mouthful, right? Mm. Mm. See you in the next video.